Hi, my name is Nick. I'm here at Mutu Europe together with my colleague Stefan Heintjens and today we are going to zoom in on Mutu's dye sublimation printer range. We have an extended range of dye sublimation printers from 42 inch wide up to 102 inch wide for entry level, mid range and high volumes. Now Stefan, can you explain to me what is needed to start up a successful dye sublimation printer business? Well, Nick, yes, I can. I think uh, a good start is to buy a Mutu printer. Of course, we have the Japanese build quality. Our printers are robust, strongly built, which is, uh, in fact, very important for dye sublimation printing. Because in sublimation, when you go into production, the printers print much more volume than a typical solvent printer, which is why this stability, day-to-day, -day, being able to print the same quality over and over again is very important. Our machines have these uh, robust heads which are drop on demand and have a large range of drops from 3 up to 40 uh, picoliter and we have an adapted uh, roll system as well as pressure rollers that can handle the heavy as well as the very light sublimation papers. Another part of the investment is a heat press or a calendar but depending on the size of uh, what you want to do. Uh, the heat press is of course needed to do the sublimation transfer and that brings us to the consumables. You need sublimation paper as well as polyester coated materials and last but not least the ink. We made a specific choice in the case uh, of our inks. Fact is you can of course uh, focus on uh, specific niche markets or doing only fashion for example or only sportswear but in the case of Mutu we have chosen an ink which allows our customers to taste from all the possible applications. The most obvious one is printing on paper and then doing sublimation transfer on polyester but in our case we can also print on paper and then transfer on solid polyester coated objects and last but not least, our ink can also print directly onto the polyester fabric. The applications are truly endless. Fashion, sportswear, all kinds of customized articles like cushions, bags, dresses, scarves and assorted mouth masks, curtains, sitting cubes, personalized floor mats, indoor bike and luggage covers, branded hotel towels, flags and last but not least wide format soft signage displays for interior decoration. On solid objects we have personalized products like skis and snowboards as well as giveaways like key hangers, watches, serving trays, mouse mats and smartphone covers. We have, of course, the part from the ink, which determines what you can do and onto which uh, fabrics or which objects you can print. So you have this aspect of versatility. So next to the versatility, you have the scalability. Very often you have a startup cost when you do something, and it depends a lot if you do one piece or you do a lot. In the case of sublimation, that's not the case. If you do a one-off, as a test or a trial or an example for a customer or you need to do 1000 pieces, the cost for a piece will be the same. Then we have the choice of what is the colorant. In sublimation inks it uh, is dyes that we are using and as opposed to pigments which are used in solvent inks, the dyes have very very vibrant colors which is much appreciated, specifically like if people are doing sportswear. Another aspect is linked to the sublimation process itself. Basically what happens is that during this transfer process, the fabric, the polyester, is heated to temperatures close to 200 degrees or just over 200 degrees. The polyester opens up and the colorants turn into gas and go inside the polyester which afterwards cools down and locks in the colorants, closing them up and protecting them from abrasion, but also protecting them if the fabrics are washed at, for example, very high temperatures, even up to 100 degrees, cook wash. And that's one of the reasons why uh, sublimation printing is now becoming popular, for example, for the creation of mouth masks, which are coming, becoming common scenery in the streets. They can be 
uh, printed with very nice, funny designs for children, but also an assorted accessory for clothing on demand, going together with a scarf or with a blouse. But the advantage is they can be washed at high temperature, so they can be reused, which is economic, but also ecologic. Okay, for safety standards, normally you are looking at the finished application. So it would not be mutuo that we would be compliant to a standard, but somebody that is using a fabric which is, for example, Ecotec certified and that wants to sell that finished fabric as clothing and saying it is Ecotec certified. In that case, we can reassure our customers because using our ink on an Ecotec certified fabric will not influence this Ecotec certification, so it remains valid. But the responsibility to have the certification is for the producer of the garment. Thank you very much, Stefan. You're welcome. So this was more information on Mutto's dye sublimation printer range. If you require any further information on our sublimation printers, we can bring you in touch with a Mutto certified distributor and we have a widespread network throughout EMEA. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more content on Mutual.